Hi, my little angels. Dear kids, listen please. I am back to you after some days. Leave. Myself, Deva Prashad Mukhavadhyay. Today is the 20th of March, 2022. Today I have, uh, I shall bring before you some stories, some rhymes, some rhythms. As I have uh, recited or narrated before you some days back. Today, actually, the story is, you know, you will definitely like it. So, I remember my uh, uh, young days, I mean, when I was a kid like you or a little um, older than you. So, my father used to uh, uh, give, uh, give some lessons and the stories and the rhymes, poems, poetry, etc. to memorize. So I read all those things and uh, my father used to check it, whether I have learned it or whether I have memorized it and all that. So as a obedient uh, boy or as, as an obedient son, I, uh, he used to check it and I was uh, presenting uh, all my from my memory, all the uh, lessons that he uh, used to um, to uh, memorize it and all that. So, as an obedient boy, as an obedient son, I used to uh, narrate it and all that. So, at that on those days, I was you know when I grew grew little older, I was getting astonished that um, yeah, these writers, these uh, you know story writers, uh, poetry writers, and all that, how they could write lines after lines and pages after pages and books after books. I tried when I grew, I grew a little older, I tried to write one or two lines, but uh, you know, I could not do it. So I was getting astonished. See, I'm memorizing, I'm uh, telling all the, on my, uh, you know, from what I have learned, submitting to my father and all that. But, you know, uh, I was actually um, thoughtful about it. How a writer could write lines after lines, pages after pages, books after books. So, um, uh, I thought it is very difficult. Um, poetry, writing stories, essays, uh, all these things, you know, I was actually you know, too much, um, what I should say, uh, worried because I found it very difficult. Uh, from my imagination, from my thought process to write stories, poetry, etc., etc. So, I actually came away from the, mm, the stories, poetry and all that, rhymes and rhythms and all that. Even though still today I like it, because it is so simple, words are so simple, rhymes are so uh, nice to uh, hear, the, the rhythmic. So, even in the old age also, I like poetry, I like rhymes, rhythms as you like. So, I thought that, well, let me also um, uh, place before you some of my writings. Then, I, what I did, you know, I actually came away from the, um, you know, poetry, stories, literature, and I found it very um, tough and difficult. And I found science subject was easier for me. Because if I think about the particular theory, particular uh, mathematical solutions, uh, particular, um, or I should say, uh, hypothetical or the, uh, whatever it may be. So, I found it easy. But I found poetry, stories, literature, music, songs to write all those lines from the, uh, what I should say, from the imagination. I took it as a very difficult subject. So, for me, science became an easier subject. Because any, any, mm, uh, no, theory, um, um, or I should say the analysis of the mathematical analysis of those things I was found it, finding it easy then you know uh, but it was working in my mind my motor was always you know on how the writer can write uh, you know lines after lines as I have told you earlier so uh, I tried also but I could not jot down I could not uh, uh, complete it. One or two lines after that, I was getting very much exhausted and uh, I left it. But what happened, you know, 
I came across, you know, as I was a student of science and all that, and I was getting my uh, degrees and all that, everything, you know, one day I found out two sentences from the two great scientists of the world. Uh, that is, you know, you must be knowing those names, one is Sir Isaac Newton and another is Albert Einstein. Both were the, what I should say, the topmost scientist, mathematician, physicists of the world. From those, only the whole of the science, whole of the technology, whole of the mathematical solutions of all things, they are the father. Even Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton was the father of Einstein because, you know, all the calculations, what Sir Isaac Newton has made, you know, uh, what I should say, the um, uh, invented, uh, the calculus, the most of the important mathematical tool, the calculus. Calculus are of two different types. One is integral and invented, differential calculus and integral calculus. From those you know, mathematical solutions, um, Albert Einstein could process further for all his mathematics, his physicist, as a um, physics, uh, the theories of physics, etc., etc., the whole thing of the science, basic science and all that. And on that only, Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein, the whole of the scientific development, all the scientific development progressed. And another also I will tell you, the computer science, the digital science, the digital uh, numerics and the additions of um, uh, subtraction and division and all that, that also uh, a separate mathematician from England was there. Yeah. So these three persons, yeah, by whom the whole of the uh, computer science is, uh, mathematical uh, calculation of the computer science is uh, established. So now I came across, you know, these two sentences from the two great scientists. What Albert Einstein told, you know, after that only I tried, you know, he told that, I have still now I have noted in my book from where I will decide to this poem, till now, see this is the dancing aurora, this is the dancing aurora, here I wrote it, you know, imagination is more important than knowledge. You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six words are there. First is imagination. You have to imagine. Every time you have to think of, you have to dream, you have to imagine. Ah, so imagination is more important than knowledge. Now you can say the, how the knowledge will come, how the knowledge will come to you, how you will be wise. The point is that imagination is turned into knowledge. From the imagination you do something, you calculate something, you do something and that becomes a knowledge for us, for all, for everybody, X, Y, Z. So, for the ordinary people only get the knowledge from the imagination of Albert Einstein, from the imagination of Sir Isaac Newton. And what Sir Isaac Newton also told, he told from the knowledge point of view that I am only collecting tables of knowledge on the ocean shore. That means I have not yet learned the whole of the universe, the whole of the world, the whole of the cosmic phenomenon and all that. So from the knowledge point of view, I am so small a person that I collect the pebbles on the seashore or on the ocean shore or on the river bed and all that and all that. So you see, the greatest of the great scientists, mathematicians, physicists, that is their, you know, the softness, that is their courtesy, that is their, what I should say, the expression of their, you know, the whole of the thing. Uh, so that is, you know, everybody has to culture. So imagination from that point of view, I started writing the stories, I started writing the poetry, I started writing the, uh, you know, rhymes and rhythms. So today I will just recite before you, let me be. So what is let me be? Uh, what I want to be? So that is that, you know, let me be like an ant. Suppose someday I observe that some ant, you know, when I was sitting over the, on the ground, you know, I found some ants, you know, collecting sugar crystals. Uh, they are collecting the sugar crystals and then are taking away uh, into their um, uh, resting place inside the uh, house or inside the surroundings and all that. So, Im immediately my imagination started working and I wrote this poem, you know. So, let me be, 
Let me be, I want to be, and let me be. See, this is the poem, let me be. You see, let me be, I want to be, what I want to be. Huh? You see, you read it properly. I know, I'm giving you some time to read it. Let me be. Huh? Let me be. See, what I want to be. What I want to be, let me be. So, as I was observing that the ant, what was doing? What our ants were doing, you know, they are collecting the sugar crystals. As I was eating something, some uh, sugar crystals fell on the floor, you know, they are trying to take it to their, uh, uh, what I should say, their place, uh, the hole, and they are going into the hole with the sugar crystals. So I wrote this poem, you know, what is there? Let me be like an ant. Let me be like an ant, take away sugar, mixed in sand. If not, then let me be like water. Let me be like water in a cup, in a glass, in a pond, or in a river, or in big and mighty oceans. Dissolve whatever I can, bring back to the earth again and again. See how nice it is. So let me be like an ant, take a sugar mixed in sand. If not, then let me be like water in a cup, glass, Found or in a river or in a big and mighty oceans, dissolve whatever I can, whatever I can, bring back to the earth again and again. There is the first stanza. The second one, if not then, then what I should do? Let me be like a tree. Alone I grow and grow and grow, replenish the air, I provide oxygen in the air and produce fruits in grove. Produce fruits, produce other vegetables, and all that, and all that. But when wind blows very hot or cold, when wind blows very hot and cold, ever tolerant tree doesn't oppose. Tree doesn't resist. It tries to resist, but it branches broken, gets uprooted, and all that. So, but when wind blows very hot or cold, ever tolerant tree doesn't oppose. When it doesn't get water, doesn't grumble or murmur in the dry time, in dry time, in the hot summer time, hot summer days, you know, it doesn't get water, but it doesn't murmur, but silently with us, the leaf, you know, it falls down, it gets, you know, reduced, you know, because it is not getting water, eh, silently it with us, and for me, it only leaves a trail of sorrows. I feel sorry that the tree is not getting the water and it is not able to get its own food um, from the earth. Hmm. So, my life to be filled with, so with all these observations, like an ant, like a tree, eh, like that and all that, my life to be filled with, let me be all like this, let me be all like this, you know, hmm. and for my absolute solace and my life long peace. So, for understanding all these things, thinking all these things, I get my peace. When I look at the tree, when I look at the animal, when I look at the birds, when I look at the nature, you know, my mind gets filled up with all joy, with all the pleasure, with all the things which I cannot get from the physics, from the chemistry, from the mathematics, from the computer sciences, from the computer. See, I was getting interest in that for my belly, to get service, to get a degree, to get a um, high salary and all that and all that and all that. But when I think all these things, all this poetry, all this music, all these rhymes, you know, then only my heart gets filled up. So, this much is today. Um, I will meet you again. Till then, goodbye. Uh, my little angels, namaskar to you, all of you. Let me take goodbye.